Hey guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be vlogging again. You guys have no idea how happy I am that I am back to making these quarantine vlogs slash vlogs. I'm not sure what to name them because Miami's kind of opening up and we're not really in quarantine anymore, but I'm still very scared about, you know, this virus that's still out there, but I don't know. I literally woke up like 20 minutes ago. I brushed my teeth. I went back to bed and I was like, nope, I have to vlog. So by the way, hi puppy. Good morning, Chuchi. This is what I wake up to. I miss waking up with you guys. I love you so much. I'm gonna get up from bed now and make a light breakfast, drink some water, maybe some tea or something. I've been trying to run or do some sort of exercise every day. It's been a while since I've been on here, but I've been training with Steph and her best friend, Jenna, and she's a professional athlete. So she's been training us and it has been intense. And we might work out with her today too, but I do wanna do a light run slash jog to get a little bit of cardio in and just work out in the morning, just in case if we don't do anything later. But I'm gonna get ready. By the way, my top slash sports bra is from Revolve. My sweatpants are from Beverly Hills Club. Let's make this bed. I'm gonna need y'all to get off. First thing I drink in the morning is warm water with a shot of apple cider vinegar and a whole lemon. So I'm just gonna add some water to this, heat it up, and then we could add the vinegar and the lemon. All right guys, so for oatmeal, I'm gonna be using the Quaker's Original, and I'm just gonna put that in the bowl. So I just added some water. The trick is not to use too much water. So I just put a little bit, and I'm gonna microwave it for 45 seconds. Okay, now time for topping. We're gonna start off by putting some honey on top. This adds a little bit of flavor to the oatmeal because it's like the unflavored one. Put in a scoop of the Justin's Chocolate Hazelnut Almond Butter. This is amazing and so yummy. It's kind of vital to this oatmeal. And now I'm taking a handful of blueberries and just putting that on top. And that is today's breakfast. So I drink this before I eat anything in the morning because it's a really good fat burner. It boosts your metabolism. Drinking a shot of apple cider vinegar every day is really good for you, but it's not good for your stomach if you drink it just like the apple cider vinegar. You have to dilute it with water. So I drink lemon water in the morning. So I was like, let me knock two birds with one stone out and just, you know, combine it all. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I actually haven't checked my phone until right now. So I usually don't check my phone or social media until like I'm having breakfast. I try and like take some time out of my morning to relax, lay in bed, like I usually do. I brush my teeth, you know, do my thing, and then I'll prepare breakfast, and that's when I get on my phone. I don't like waking up and like automatically getting on my phone anymore. I feel like it's just not good for me. So I like to see what's going on in the world, check on social and all that stuff when I'm having breakfast, which leads me to my next topic of conversation, which I wanted to talk to you guys about. It would feel very strange for me to just come back on here on my YouTube channel and not address the things that are going on in the world right now and talk about them and also use my platform to inform you guys on things. So I've been very vocal about the Black Lives Matter movement on my Instagram, on my Twitter. I'm so happy that we are finally, you know, making change and seeing things actually happen. So many things have happened because of the protests, which is a great thing personally. I am so happy to see our communities come together all over the world, honestly, not even the US. I was gonna say US, but I, you know, there's protests everywhere in the world right now protesting racism, which is something that is so disgusting and and you know, it's just not okay and so many black lives have been taken from us too soon because of the police brutality that is going on in this country and it's just so insane to me that it took all of this for there to be some change. I'm so happy that the peaceful protests are happening. If you guys want to get more informed, I do have a highlight reel on my Instagram. It's Black Lives Matter on my Instagram, Amanda Diaz. If you guys want to check that out, I highly suggest you do so. I also shared a lot of my stuff on my Twitter. I have been obviously talking a lot on there if you follow me on Twitter, but I obviously Obviously wanted to use this video as well to shed some light on the topic I have also listed down below petitions you guys can sign for some change So if you guys can take some time out of your day before after during this video I would really appreciate it if you took some time to sign it takes little to 
no time, it's so quick, and it makes a big change. And if you can donate, that's amazing as well, but if you can't donate, you know, there are petitions you can sign, and there are numbers that you can text. I will have everything down below for you guys. There's so much negativity in this world already. I feel like we all need to be love and light in this world, and I encourage anyone that follows me or watches my videos to be the same. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. I've been staying informed, thankfully, thanks to social media. We have so many different platforms that we can get informed on. We have so many resources and it's such a blessing that we have that ability. It's crazy to think like maybe 30 years ago, people didn't have that or 20 years ago. You know, that we have all these social media platforms now that we can share things on. Even on TikTok, I've been seeing some pretty informative stuff. Also, if you didn't notice, I did my hair. I dyed it. I did balayage on it with Yessi, which is my hairdresser here in Miami, but she's crazy book. I was trying to vlog yesterday, but my parents came and my sister and the dogs and it was just chaos here. I'm not kidding. When my mom comes over, it is literally like she wants to clean everything, which is amazing. I'm so happy that she does it, but she is so thorough. <laughs> It took her all day to deep clean my house and my house was already clean. She just has like a supersonic eye for like seeing dust and stuff. It's so crazy, but I'm so grateful that they're here. I am so happy. My heart has just been feeling very heavy for the past couple of days. I get really anxious. You guys know that I deal with anxiety and you know with everything going on in the world Like I have just been feeling way extra anxious like I haven't even been in my own house I've been staying at steps because I can't sleep alone So having my family here it makes me feel so much better It's just like a sense of comfort that like money can't buy, you know So I'm just really happy they're here, but I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast and I'll be back when I'm gonna get ready for the day so I just finished eating breakfast. I'm gonna hang out on my couch for a little bit and watch TikTok and see which ones I'm gonna make today and then we're gonna get ready and go for our run. But since I just ate, I don't wanna run like right now, so what we're doing so since Steph can't work out with us she actually sent me the home workout that we did with Jenna that her trainer had kind of set up for us it's three different circuits so I'm going to change into workout clothes really quick and get ready and we're gonna do this so this is today's workout outfit this is from Saski collection I love their workout clothes they're super comfortable and I just put my hair in a ponytail I'm wearing these black Yeezys that I literally only ever used to work out because I don't wear like black sneakers so these are like my workout shoes now and they're super comfortable comfortable but yeah let's go work out are you gonna work out with me hi Georgie. you like my shoes <laughs> well you guys i'm gonna put my workout playlist here it is it's my workout hype playlist if you guys want to check out my spotify i have a bunch of different playlists this is my workout one it has like 62 different songs it's like super hype i've been using it i'm not gonna go too hard today because i am a little sore i'm gonna be recording the workout voiceover style just because the music is gonna be playing and i don't want to get copyrighted So that was one circuit. We're gonna repeat that two more times. Excuse Daniela, she's eating in the back. I'm working out. I'm moving on to circuit two. We're doing cardio and arms now. We're gonna start off with 30 jumping jacks.
Guys, so we just finished the second circuit. We're moving on to the third circuit, which is abs, and we're doing three sets of this as well. So yeah, let's do it. I'm already sweating. You have no idea how intense this is. Alright guys, that was all for today's workout. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am exhausted. I'm gonna go shower now and get ready for the day. Let's go do that. So, welcome to my glam room. I'm gonna give you guys a tour after I do my makeup, but I'm gonna do my skincare first. I just got out of the shower and changed and came in here. I'm using the 4th Ray Beauty Glisten Up Mist. Just to brighten and hydrate. This feels so nice on the skin. And I'm gonna use the Lancome Advanced Jenny Feet Concentrate. This is amazing. I'm gonna be using a droplet of it. I don't know, I like this lighting. I'm obviously changing the background. I'm like getting rid of that stuff over there. And this could be like a cute little place to film YouTube videos. Let me know if you guys like this lighting. And I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte's Magic Cream just to hydrate. My skin for some reason got really irritated here during my workout. I think it's because I worked out with my bracelet. I'm not doing that again. Alright guys, so that is the makeup for today. I just did a really like glam, pretty much my everyday. I'm gonna go ahead and eat some lunch and make TikToks. I'm going to insert right now how I made the Spanish garbanzo, so enjoy. Go ahead, Tom. So this is smoked pork bone. Okay, and this is chorizo. Uh-huh. Spanish chorizo. Que le da un gusto muy rico. Okay. Entonces estos potatoes. And now we're just cutting up the pumpkin as well. So I know a lot of us mince garlic, but my mom has always done it like on a mortar. I miss you. I miss you so much. You guys, we also put the garbanzo beans with water in the pressure cooker for 45 minutes. This is just going to soften them up and get them ready for seasoning and putting on the other vegetables that we cut up. All right, guys, so we just took them out and they actually need a little bit more time and a little bit more water because they're not as soft as we need them to be. So we're going to put them back into the pressure cooker really quick and let that simmer for a little more. And then we'll get back to you guys about putting in the rest of the stuff. We cut up a chorizo and we also diced some onion and bell pepper. And we also cut up some plantains, but we're just going to fry that after. It has nothing to do with the garbanzos. Got some garbanzos in the pressure cooker. And we also put some in this pan here because it just wasn't big enough. I feel like I should have gotten a bigger pressure cooker, but whatever. Yeah, they got way too big and they didn't fit. So now we're putting the garlic into the pan. The rice is ready. It's been ready, so, you know, this is fine. Yeah, we're pan searing the garlic. It smells amazing in here right now. And now we're going to put in the diced onion and bell pepper. We're going to pan sear that, let it get a little bit softer and caramelized almost. And now we're putting in the chorizo. Putting in what? Sazón completo. It's azafrán. Tiene algunos otros sazoncitos, pero tiene también colorcito. This is azafrán, and it's great for color, and it's a great seasoning as well. So we're going to just pan sear all of that. Cumin. My mom actually makes this cumin at home by herself. She basically, she gets the cumin seeds and actually toasts them in a pan. And she says that the flavor is a lot richer when you toast it at home instead of buying it store-bought. Yeah. And after the seeds are toasted, she basically like mashes them up in the mortar 
and you have cumin seasoning. Oh. And now we're putting some complete seasoning. Yes. And a little bit of oregano as well. And mixing that up. Now we're gonna put in some tomato sauce. And we're gonna mix that all up. Now we're going to combine all the flavors and everything. We're putting in around two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar into the mixture. We also added a tablespoon of light brown sugar into the mixture as well. I'm just gonna stir this all in. Now we're adding some red cooking wine. We add this to the garbanzo beans. Oh my God, this looks so good. I'm so happy. This is my favorite meal that my mom and grandma make and they're making it for me at my house. You guys, we just put in the potatoes and the pumpkin. Get excited. And now we're putting the sauce in. <gasps> so that's how you make it. Y sale naranja. <gasps> And now we're going to mix that all in. All right, guys, it's that easy. And now we're going to let this simmer for 5 to 10 minutes so all the flavors really combine. We're adding a little bit of water. Mmm. Is it good? Delicious. It needs a little more salt. Claro. But it's perfect. And you guys, that is how you make garbanzo. Super yummy. We're adding a little bit more salt. And stirring that in. So now we're gonna let this simmer in low heat for five to 10 minutes and it's gonna be ready to go. This is my second day in a row eating this and I'm never gonna get tired of it. It's so amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. Try it out for yourselves. This was my favorite food ever growing up. I absolutely love it. And when my mom and grandma make it for me, it's like the best thing ever. I'm gonna try and make this next week by myself. So I'm glad I filmed it because I have this video to reference to when I wanna make it, so. Do you guys see this right now? This is insane. This is like the best thing that's ever happened to me. I love you guys so much. Hi. Are you guys so happy to be here? What are you making today, papi? Churrasco. Yum. Mommy, are you assisting? Yes. I'm gonna do it the churrasco together. So we seasoned it with garlic powder, salt, pepper, onions, and a little bit of vinegar. And we're pan searing the steak. All right, guys, this is dinner, some steak, rice, and garbanzos. Just a little bit of rice because I'm not like super crazy hungry. And some water. He's so cute. All right, guys, we're gonna have a family movie night. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh Hey guys, so I'm currently taking my makeup off. I'm just using some micellar water. If I sound really congested, the dogs are giving me allergies, but I'm going to wash my face really quick, so I wanted to show you guys my skincare routine. I'm gonna start off by using the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cleanser. This stuff is amazing, and I'm just gonna use it to get rid of the excess makeup and also just wash out this mascara that I have going on. Okay, so I washed my face. I also brushed my teeth. And now I'm going to be using the Dr. Brandt Bright Bionic Dark Spot Minimizing Serum. I love Dr. Brandt, one of my favorite skincare brands in the entire world. And they just sent me a bunch of restocks of products that I absolutely love. So I'm just going to apply that all over. Never neglect your neck, by the way. Make sure that you get your neck because your neck actually ages a lot faster than your face. I'm taking my Nurse Jamie Roller. Just really getting that product in. And for eye cream, I'm taking the Dr. Brandt Do Not Age Triple Peptide Eye Cream. And I'm just going to apply this with my ring finger. Okay, and for moisturizer, we're using the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Moisturizer. Love this stuff. I have super dry skin, so I go a little crazy with moisturizer. And I'm gonna apply my Grande Lash Serum and I'm not gonna do that on camera because I need to like be focused. And ladies and gentlemen, that is my current nighttime skincare routine. Well you guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little quarantine vlog. I'm so happy to be back and making videos on YouTube again. Also besides quarantine vlogs, comment down below what videos you guys wanna see next. I know a lot of you guys want an updated playlist video so I think I'm gonna film that tomorrow. Well you guys, I love you all and I will see you in my next video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on all of my social medias. Turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I post a new video. I post every Wednesday and every Sunday and sometimes I drop some surprise videos so turn on your post notifications so you know when those drop as well i love you all and i will see you in my next video bye